You are likely familiar with lagus bugs from canola, but lagus bug feeding may also impact the quality of faba beans and result in downgrading. Fabas are later maturing and may be greener than other nearby mature crops, resulting in movement of lagus into fabas once alfalfa is cut or canola is swathed. Hot, dry weather promotes lagus bug development and damage from feeding can be worse under these conditions. Lagus bug adults and nymphs pierce buds and pods to suck plant sap. Visible damage is found on the seeds due to enzymes in their saliva that gets left behind. While flower blasting can occur from lagus feeding, yield losses aren't generally a concern in fabas as they can compensate for those lost flowers. It's more so a quality issue. Fabas that have greater than 1% perforated damage are downgraded to number two. Monitor fabas for lagus bug during flowering to pod development until seeds become firm in the pod. Fabas are especially vulnerable during their early pod stage. A nominal threshold to prevent downgrading is 10 to 15 lagus bugs per 10 sweeps at this early pod stage. However, pollinators are important for faba bean yield and should be taken into consideration when making spray decisions. Research has indicated that having pollinators in your fabas increases yield by about 17%, so make sure you keep them in mind as well. There are also several beneficial insects that feed on the nymphs of lagus bugs. Damsel bugs, green lacewing larvae, and predatory wasps are all natural enemies of lagus bugs and are reducing populations in your fields.